Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to day 27 of the 31 Days of Horror. DeBougie86 here again. And I got another old school one for you guys today. Yes, I got a film from 1960. And it goes by the title of The City of the Dead. Or uh, also, if you know, this film also goes by the title Horror Hotel, which it was released in the States. Uh, uh, this is actually an interesting release because it has both cuts of the movie. Because the Horror Hotel cut actually cuts like, I think like two minutes out of the actual movie. You know what I mean? Which was very interesting in that aspect. But uh, a little history on this movie. It was uh, produced by Vulcan Film Productions, which would later become like a... Amicus uh, Productions, which if you know Amicus, you know they were like a big uh, company in the UK where they competed with Hammer a lot. They had like different productions and they did a lot of interesting films on their own right and also share a few stars also. Uh, of course, uh, Christopher Lee's in this one. Now, main plot of uh, The City of the Dead is... We're introduced to Christopher Lee's character, Alan Driscoll, who's a professor who's kind of like a historian on witchcraft, pretty much. His students are involved in, like, the lectures of witchcraft. And a young student named Nan Barlow, who's actually the sister of one of uh, Driscoll's uh, uh, fellow professors, is also uh, interested in this. So, uh... What Driscoll does is he ends up going to, uh, telling Nan to go to this town, Whitewood, to study it. So Nan ends up doing that, and, uh, something goes wrong, and Nan ends up disappearing. So what the rest of the movie, just in plot of it is, is, uh, Nan's brother, Mr. Barlow, Professor Barlow, going to Whitewood and trying to figure out what happened to Nan, and what's going on pretty much through the rest of the movie. That's pretty much the gist of the plot of it. Now, my thoughts on it. Interesting atmosphere in this one. Like, some of the atmosphere that does happen in this movie, like, uh, it's just insane. Like, when Nan's driving down the highway, how the hell, you know, it's like crazy, because I would have crashed the car like the first second, you know? <laughs> It was just fog central in this movie. There's fog everywhere. And, uh, of course, this place uh, takes place in Whitewood, Massachusetts. I'm not really sure that's a real town. I think it was just made up for the movie. I could be wrong, because I am from Massachusetts, and I never heard of that town. There's a lot of sub-towns that I've never been to in Massachusetts also. Uh, you know, really uh, interesting aspect of the music. I like a lot of, like, the the harmonization music, but then they play like this fucking weird goofy fucking music throughout it, which kind of takes you out of the movie a little bit, because it's like Benny Hill style, that's the way I would describe some of the music that happens within this movie, but I like like the harmonious like, uh, music that happens with like hymns and stuff, I really do dig that, it gets the feel of what's going on with the film with the witchcraft angle, it really brings it out. Uh, you know, some of the characters are interesting in this one. Like, uh, I kind of saw the twist happen with uh, one character in particular. It was kind of cool, though, how that went up with, like, uh, the very climax of the movie. Which was very interesting the way they did the climax, too. Because uh, without giving too much away on it, it involved, like, a, a course, a cemetery, of course. And, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of on the cover also with, like, a, a cross, you know without giving too crazy much on it. And it was kind of cool, the aspect of what happened with the cross, what it did. Which, you know, it was fucking cool, man. This is a cool little film. Like I, like the last one that I did yesterday, it runs like 78 minutes, so it's a very fast watch. And, you know, there's another twist that actually happens that kind of predates something that was done in another 1960 film that I'm not going to give away what that is because uh, I don't want to spoil it for you but fucking cool ass movie uh, City of the Dead uh, if I had to rate it I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 out of 10 it has a good atmosphere but like I said some of like the goofy fucking music that goes throughout it it kind of took me out of it uh, 
Now, special features on this release from Aero Video. I know uh, VCI released this in the States, so I don't know how to compare those or the features to it. Uh, I know the actual master of this was done by the Cohen Media Group, who did like uh, the same restoration for like the old Dark House. Uh, what do we got here? Comes with the alternative cut of uh, Horror Hotel, which I did watch. It was very interesting what was cut out of it. It was like a some of like dialogue scenes and stuff like that. Uh, also, uh, audio commentary by Jonathan Rigby. Ooh, audio commentary by Christopher Lee. Ooh, shit. And audio commentary by John Moxie, who was the director. Interview with Lee, which is like 45 minutes. I started watching it, but I'm like, I gotta watch something else for another uh, show, so I, I couldn't sit down and watch. I, I'm gonna get back to that one. Interview with Moxley, interview with actor Vinatia Stevenson, who actually played uh, Nan in the film. Gallery, trailer, reversible sleeve, uh, which I showed, I think. Yeah, let me show it to you. Comes with the Horror Hotel artwork, if you see that. It's pretty fucking cool. But yeah, that's it for uh, what I got to do about uh, City of the Dead. It's a fucking cool release from Era Video, and Transfer's fucking beautiful. So if I had to rate, uh, yeah, I actually did rate it. Don't mind me, guys. I'm still kind of waking up. But if I had to rate the release itself, it's a beautiful release. It gets like a 9 out of 10, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Good shit. But overall, that's it for this day, guys. I got to get some coffee in me. I'm kind of recording this a little bit earlier than usual, so bear with me with this review. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Peace out.